All right, Stealth Elf, let's do this. This time, try to keep up. Don't get too confident, Spyro. I've got a new strategy this time. On your mark! Get set! Daddy's got gotcha. you. Come on, Stealth Elf! You can't win if you don't try. Who says I didn't try? <laughs> Welcome to Skylands. Long ago, the ancients used mind magic to create everything in our world. And somehow, this power has been reawakened. But now, someone is using it to create monsters, the likes of which have never been seen. As a portal master, you must now use mind magic to create heroes of your own to combat these unstoppable foes. And to help train them, I am sending you the greatest Skylander senseis of all time. A great adventure awaits you, Portal Master. Behold. Okay, I've tracked that mysterious book-stealing bad guy to this equally mysterious place. Master Eon said I would find someone here who can help me stop him. A chance, Spyro! I'm totally invincible! <laughs> <laughs> Strange that we can hear each other from this distance. Where is this so-called Imaginator I'm supposed to meet? <laughs> well, what do you know? It's chaos. Oh, you'd better believe it, stupids! And this time, I've got something up my sleeve that not even you fools can stop! Doomlanders! Here's the book, Master. Awesome. And now that I have it, I will use its knowledge to make you even stronger than before, to defeat our uninvited guests! Doomlander. Sorcerer class. Be afraid of the bananas! My beautiful Doomlander! No matter though, now that I have this book, I will learn how to make even more awesomely perfect Doomlanders, which will surely spell doom for you sky losers! D O O M! See? I just spelled it! Chaos away! Ah, 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 ah. ah classic chaos. But hey! Nice job out there, buddy. Looks like you're pretty good at defeating those Doomlanders, so in my book, that also makes you pretty cool. 
Speaking of books, let's go meet up with Stealth Elf and see what Chaos is up to next. So this is called the Mysterious Ancient Place. MAP for short, kinda coincidentally. It is indeed a mysterious place with many areas of adventure for you to check out. It's also where those ancients used to live and where all creation was created. How did the ancients even create creation? Exactly! It's mysterious. You know what else yeah. is a mystery? What that creep chaos is up to with all that mind magic. We're going to need some help. Skylander, once you're done exploring, let's head back to the Academy. Hey, Skylander! Mount Kilimanjaro is totally gonna blow! Isn't that great? Ah, I keep telling you, man, if this volcano blows, we all blow up with it. We have to stop it from erupting. Stop the volcano from erupting? You must be crazy. Everybody knows you can't stop fire. Well, I'm pretty sure that if someone were to plug up these vents, we could at least prevent a massive eruption. All they need is my freeze cannon to walk across the lava. Plugging vents? Freezing lava? I won't hear any more of this crazy talk! Ah! Ugh, guess I should go talk to him. In the meantime, what do you say, Skylander? Wanna help save the world? Tor, the Skylander did it. Totally stopped Mount Kiliman Blower from erupting. So it would appear, Frostface. But for how long? For how long? Um, I don't know. At least for today. And that's positive, right? Homelander attack left the library in complete shambles. Oh, and Flynn's trapped too. Think you're up for a little rescue mission, Skylander? If you've never met Flynn before, it's quite an honor. At least according to him. Bowsers, you rescued me. Now let's go out there and make sure everybody knows about all my awesome and heroic deeds. And then I'm okay but mostly the deeds. But before we do all that, how about taking a quick selfie with yours truly? You know, to prove to all your friends you actually met old Captain Flynn himself. The man, the myth, the boom. Just stand over here on this selfie spot. Take selfies wherever you want, but if you take them on these special selfie spot thingies, you win stuff. Don't ask me why, just go with it. Low extremely. I am here to help you gain new powers. You can turn your gold into magical upgrades. Come and see. So, Flynn, did you happen to see which book that Doomlander stole from our library? <laughs> Indeed I did. And when that Doom thingy got one look at this big bad ombre, you better believe he hightailed it out of there. So, what was the book? Uh, something about imaginative shards indigenous to the Mushroom River, but let's get back to how awesome and heroic I was back then. Imaginite? The building blocks of creation used by the ancients? The very same! Now with chaos! And the Mushroom River? I think Gilgrunt and his team are patrolling that area right now. And that's where we're going too, come on! Alright Skylander, you ready to do this thing? And by that we mean head over to the Mushroom River? Gil, what's up? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I've been doing a little recon here, Spyro. This place is teeming with that newfangled Imaginite. Its rivers are also teeming with toxins. They're poisonous to the touch. So I guess teeming is the word of the day or something? Let's just find as many creation items as we can and stay out of that normal looking yet totally poisonous water. I also got word that old Chaos himself may be nearby. Looking for a Maginite. Same as us! But being a lot more evil about it. Well, I'm teeming with anticipation. Let's go, team. <laughs> See what I did there? No? Okay. Oh, man. I don't know if Stealth Valve already talked to you about it, but do not drink this water. I had some. Now I don't feel so good. Lava burn! Anyway, I am a professional and here to escort you down the river. Just don't uh, rock the boat too much, okay?
<laughs> Splatter. <coughs> hey, Skylander. <coughs> oh, man. I think I might have drank more of the water after falling in all those times. But I was able to figure out a way to open up the gate so we could sail down the river again. But it means putting something heavy onto this pulley I'm standing on. Heavier than me, apparently. Well, hello again, sky suckers! You can keep your precious Imaginite, but it will hardly do you any good when I summon... Doomlander. Brawler class. Unleash the monkeys! You are so annoying, Skylander. Did anyone ever tell you that? Lava bird! Ah, oh, jeez. Eruptor, you drank some of the water here, didn't you? Only a little. At first. Uh, then much more later. Well, at least our new Imaginator buddy took care of Chaos's latest goon, right? The ultimate goon got away, though. I'm not sure where Chaos is headed next, but he can't be far. So let's go after him. Sounds great! Yeah, for you guys, I mean. I think I need to go back to the Academy and rest my tummy some more. Understand it, Blunchanks. I have everything I need to make the perfect Doomlander. But they're still coming out all wrong. Stupid ancients and their stupid, stupid mind magic! Well, it sounds like you've got the magic part down. You're just missing the mind part. <laughs> what do you mean, fool? What? Oh, uh, nothing, sir. I, I mean, we are talking about the ancients, after all. Aren't we? So? So? So, uh, so they, um, had, you know, so many d secrets. Ah, secrets! That's it! You're right, Glumshanks! I am? Yes? Good. There's nothing wrong with my incomprehensible genius! It's those ancients, and their miserable secrets! And when you want to know the most secret of secrets, there's only one place to go! Come, Glumshanks! We're going to the Super Secret Society of Super Secrets! <laughs> we just got wind that Chaos is on his way to a place called Scholarville. Stealth Elf and I are gonna head over there right now. Okay, looks like Stealth Elf is already there. Uh, I wish he'd tell me before taking off like that. We better catch up with her. Despite being sworn to secrecy, I must tell you something. Our fair city is under attack! Uh, yeah. We kind of gathered that. Any sign of chaos? Well, being sworn to secrecy as I am, I can neither confirm nor deny the existence of chaos. But if he did exist, he would be inside that castle right there. And I'm pretty sure that he'd be looking for the everlasting thinking cap. If that existed too. Then that's where we are headed. Although, Spyro, can you do anything about these ships blasting the town? Of course I can. Oh, you want me to do it right now? Gotcha. I don't know about you, but I'm already sick of cannonballs. It does give me an idea, though. If we can get to that cannon, we can launch ourselves over to the castle. What could go wrong? Airburn. Scholars are sworn to secrecy, but as you may know, we will also tell anybody just about anything. I could even tell you about Creation Clash, for instance, the latest Sky Stones game. The only thing I won't do is teach you how to play. But when you learn, come back! I made it! And I think I found a less dangerous method of travel here. Provided, of course, you don't fall. So jump on and don't fall. Oh, please! You fools think you 
can stop me, Chaos, from acquiring the Helm of Ultimate Wisdom? Well, guess what? You can't. Doomlander! Attack! Doomlander. Bazooka class. Nothing better than the Pancake House! This is terrible! But not for long, because as soon as I get my hands and head on that helm of ultimate wisdom, my Doomlanders will be unstoppable! Oh, please! Are you still here? I thought I told you, stupid Skylanders, you could never stop me, Chaos, from acquiring the Helm of Ultimate Wisdom! In fact, you're so stupid, you probably believe all the legends about an evil sea monster who lives in here and guards it! Ha! Such fools! most powerful brain in the known universe. Here, I will even say a big word to prove my intelligence. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. I don't understand what's happening! Well, you put on the helm of ultimate wisdom, you lucky duck. That entitles you to ask me. The last of the ancients. At least one question. Wait! You're really an ancient? Is that really your question? Eh? What? No! Uh, uh, very well, uh, Brain. If you are what you say you are, then tell me how to create the ultimate Doomlander. I could tell you anything, even what anti-disestablishmentarianism means. But you just want to make a better bad guy, huh? Well, you're the helmet head, Presto Brano! Fellow Skylanders, a giant vortex has appeared directly over the popular tourist destination known as Shelmont Shores. Yikes! It must have been caused by Chaos acquiring the Everlasting Thinking Cap. Chaos acquired the Everlasting Thinking Cap? Yeah, it's been a rough day. Well, I have an idea on how to turn things around, but I need your help back at the Academy. Hey, Skylander buddy. You just missed Jet back. You said to meet him in the library. Something about a Vortex Destroyer. Is that a thing? I have to tell you that when that awful Doomlander ransacked the library, books were scattered all throughout Skylands. Besides, of course, dealing with the eminent threat that is chaos, it would sure be nice to get our books back. If you find any of them in your travels, Skylander, return them to me for a generous reward.
Okay, we now have a way to take care of that vortex. Plus, I packed plenty of trail mix for the trip. Hmm, but how are we going to get there? Yo, guys, this way. Borrowed this cannon from Scholarville. I figured I could just shoot you guys out of it. How do you know that will get us to the vortex? The vortex? I hadn't even thought of that, but yeah, sure. That could work too. Head on over. That is indeed a big, impressive vortex. Almost hypnotic, isn't it? Just staring into that twisting, swirling, spiraling... We've got to stop this thing, Skylander. See if you can get close enough to it without becoming hypnotized. Or sucked in. That part is key. I'll take care of the rest. The Skylander! The key you need is right inside this room, but I must warn you, so are several terrifying mini brainstorms. Now, if you will excuse me... <laughs> Vortex, yawn. Oh well, it's your doom. Doomlander, swashbuckler class. Fuel by disaster. Addition to its new gear, it's time to teach my Doomlander an awesome new secret technique. Why don't I just do that from the start, you ask? So I can toy with you. Just a brainstorm about this brainstorm. What if I made lightning rain down on you? Wouldn't that be awesome? For me, I think it would. May have won this round, Sky Loser. And you might even have won the last couple of rounds if you want to get technical. But my next creation will not be so easy to defeat. It will be bigger and eviler than ever! Okay, Skylander, this is it. Time to get rid of this vortex thing once and for all. Although the swirling really is quite mesmerizing. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Seriously, though, let's close this sucker up. of the ordinary. I don't like it. It's too quiet. It's making me nervous. My tummy's all rumbly. Chaos! <laughs> Attention, Sky Labos! Oh, you may have thought that you'd foil my plans, but think again! Because thanks to my awesomeness, I have created the ultimate Doomlander! Now, Bear witness to my supreme triumph and your utter destruction! Whew. Well, that could have been worse. Eruptor, please tell me that's you. Uh, -uh. uh, guys, what is that? Holy guacamole! Hurry, Skylander! Jetback thinks his old Sky Baron battleship can stop that guacamole monster, but he needs your help. Go meet him over by the Academy. Oh, tell him I said hey. The ship is located directly above us, Skylander. Pretty convenient, huh? Of course, what's not as convenient is finding a way to get up there. I just happen to have something that might do the trick. Originally made it for launching sheep into space, but I think it'll work just fine for you too, Skylander. I'm intrigued. So here's my sheep slash Skylander launcher. 
Now you just hold real still here, buddy, while I give you a good fling! Rose in a frying pan! Yeah! Nature's cruelest mistake. Sucks to be you. These scavenger creeps have completely taken over our battleship. And according to Intel reports, eaten most of my lunch from the galley's mini fridge. So, I'll scout up ahead, enveloping the enemy in a classic pincer movement. Plus, maybe I can find the guy who stole my food and make him pay. Use this station to build a robot helper. That's what my mother always told me, and it seems like good advice here. Heads up, Skylander. A vulture cargo ship is headed right this way. See, there it is. It's loaded with supplies for an upcoming invasion. Or maybe the Vulture's annual chili cook-off. Either way, I say we smash those crates with a wrecking ball. You just need to restore power to the wrecking ball first. And off. Capital! You've made it to the main hangar, and more importantly, dun dun dun! The battleship! Somewhere on this glorious vessel is my lunch, and a whole lot more vultures. Let's find a way to get on board and take back control of the ship. Cover your ears, Skylander! If you have it. Okay, Sky Losers, I don't know what you fools are trying to accomplish by taking back this stupid battleship. But in any case, I summon the Purple Doomlander Knight of Cataclysm! Thought I was going to say Doom, didn't you? Doomlander. Night class. Party with my wrath! Not going to lie here. That sucked. But this Doom Flounder was merely an appetizer. Something to distract you while the main course continues to destroy your precious Skylands. Good luck dealing with that. <laughs> well, Skylander, we did it. While my lunch still remains at large, the battleship is under our control again. And I think it's ready to take on Chaos's latest monstrosity. Let us set sail for this beast! Tally-ho! According to the battleship's guacamole detecting radar, we've tracked that guacamole monster here to this strange island. Wonder what kind of unspeakable acts he could be up to. It's a Salsa Island! I'm sure I don't have to tell you about the awesome power of combining Salsa and Guacamole. We need to stop this guy, and fast! Ha! <laughs> Not so tough now, are you, Guacky? That other guacamole monster was merely an appetizer. There's the main course! I definitely don't need to tell you that this is bad, Skylander. But, as usual, I have a cunning plan. Take out the tentacles to defeat guacamole monster 2.0.
I must say, as hungry as I still am, I shan't be eating guacamole for quite some time. Certainly happy to see another one of Chaos's beasties go down, though. In fact, I hope historians one day write about our momentous victory over the guacamole monster. But for now, let us head back to the MAP. brain in the known universe. Eh? Ah, who said that? Who else? There's only one smartest, most powerful brain in the known universe last time I checked. And believe me, I check a lot. Brain? Is that you? Ta-da! That's right. I'm in your bird now. I noticed that his mind was quite easy to infiltrate. But getting a hang of this depth perception thing is a different story. Yes, well, speaking of short-sightedness, brain, those stupid Skylanders defeated my supposedly ultimate Doomlander. Hope you're happy. Look, how? It's not my fault you thought about guacamole during the all-important creation process. But hey, if you want something else, no problem. You just need to be more specific. Fine. How about this for specific? My Doomlanders are utterly feeble! What they need to be is awesomely fearsome! Like some sort of awesomely fierce beast thing! Get me, Brain? <laughs> yeah, you're not giving me a lot to go on, but I've got just the thing. Presto Braino! Ah! Ow! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Are you all right, Lord Chaos? I'm fine. There's been a change of plans. We're going to the soda factory. It's time to unleash the beast! Yes, indeed. That'll be the last time a giant monster made entirely of guacamole messes with us. To be honest, I still can't believe there was even a first time. Fizzland? I is that really a thing? Uh, yeah. It's where all my magic potions get made. We also have a farmer's market there every Sunday. Although, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Okay, Skylander. You might want to go with Pop Fizz and check this out. We'll try to figure out what Chaos is up to next. So this is Fizzland! See? It's totally a thing! Although there usually aren't any giant floating heads around here that look like chaos. So that's new. <laughs> that's right, fools. It is I, Chaos. And I've come to steal your famous beast mode potion. Now, if you'll just tell me where it is, I can be on my merry way. Oh, I'll tell you where it is, all right. It's in my belly! <laughs> Physical projection, fool! Never mind. I'll find the beast mode potion myself. And in the meantime, enjoy the horrible fate I planned for you. Ta ta! Joke's on him! I'm still alive! Good thing Skylanders can always recover from a fall, huh? Anyway, if we want to find chaos, and if I remember correctly, we do, I need to explain something important. See these potions? Well, guess what happens when you drink one? This! The whole world changes! Some things are different in each world, and you're gonna have to go back and forth to make it through this place. Crazy, right? Now you know how I feel. It's a chemical spill. Chaos must have caused that too, but luckily we have a way of dealing with these things around here. Panic! Ah! Then, after we panic, we use a big vacuum like this. Would you mind going into the control room and turning it back on? At least, I think it's a control room. No! 
gas must have mixed some red globules in with the blue globules while looking for my secret potion formula. I told you that was bad, right? So I need your help to prevent another explosion. If you're in the mood for something like that, just sort the globules. Blue globs go in here, and red ones go right here. So sick of this ridiculous place. I still have no idea how any of these stupid potions work. But at least I will have the pleasure of finally destroying you sky blanders. Doomlander. Ninja class. Master of evil. Enough! I have had enough of Fizz and you idiot sky fools to last a lifetime. There must be a way to get rid of you once and for all. And believe me, I am going to find it! Skylander, you saved my Fizz factory and we stopped Chaos from making off with any potions! I'd say that calls for a celebration! I'll just go make you some tea. <laughs> okay, look, you're frustrated. I get that. Eh, yeah, I'm a little frustrated. Nothing you've told me so far has worked. That's because mind magic takes a lot of brain juice. Did you know that people only use 10% of their brain? I hate percentages. Well, imagine if you could use 100% of your brain. Or imagine, imagine using 200% of our brains together. Eh, wait, that's not even a real number. We could create anything. <laughs> Check this out. Well, we're out of tea. Hope hot cocoa works. People always say, two heads are better than one. Oh, it never melts the marshmallows right. Uh, yeah. Want some, Lord Chaos? Yeah. yeah. Don't, Don't mind, mind if, if I, I do. do. <laughs> <laughs> now you try. Oh, Lord Chaos, the strangest thing just happened. You've made your point. Continue. Great. See, I'm locked up in the Golden Arcade's vault. Long story. Would love to fill you in on it sometime over a root beer float. But for now, if you can just get me out of this place, there'll be no stopping us. Yes. Yes! It's perfect! With my awesome plans and your ancient brain power, no one in Skylands will be able to stop me! Bad news, everybody. I just found out that Chaos has been getting outside help from a powerful entity. And we're still winning! Man, that guy just can't catch a break, can he? Well, that might all be about to change. We've got to figure out where this golden arcade is, and quick. I have no idea what any of that means, but if you're looking for an arcade, you might want to talk to Baron Von Shellshock. He's become a master card player and competes in tournaments all throughout Skylands. I hear he's even playing in one right now, at this place. Hmm, that's kind of a strange coincidence, but okay. Wanna go check it out, Skylander? You look lost, stranger. Wanna learn how to play Creation Clash? I sure recommend it. Just head right over there. You are here to play Creation Clash, are you? But you don't know how to play, do you? Lucky for you, Madame Weebleton can teach. Let us begin! Oh my, you learn quick! Well, perhaps you have played game before under different name. But feel free to challenge me again. And again, and again, until I win. Then instantly retire. Hello, Skylander. Are you here for the tournament? Good. You know I am the champion, yeah? Well, strap on your safety belt and get ready to face the big schnauzer. By which, I mean me. Kartoffel! How did you beat me? Truly, you must be a brilliant player of the creation class. Perhaps you are ready for the golden arcade? Here, I will give you its precise location. Now, be gone from here while I sulk in defeat. 
you don't mind, but I took the liberty of listening to your conversation with Baron Von Shellshock. <laughs> You told me our names were on the list, yeah? When I lied. Why, I gotta... You ought to what, tough guy? I tell you Go what. Go ahead <laughs> and tell me. Bad bouncer. Oh, man. We heard this great act is playing inside. But that bouncer creep's not letting anybody in. I got an idea. Why don't you just go over and ring the doorbell? Maybe someone nicer will come out and let us all in. All right. Can't believe that bouncer's not letting anyone in to see the show. Ah, the doorbell? I hate doorbells, like all treats. Uh-oh, he's gonna squash us flat. It's Skylander! Heard you ringing the bell and I came to let you in! But then I got into this balloon instead! <laughs> Don't worry though, because you can use that cannon to pop my balloons and get me down! Then I'll open the door for you! You did it! Now come on in and check out our latest musical act! One, two, three, four. I'm singing, singing this arcade. Oh, 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 oh. Ha, ha. Tip your waiter. Gads, that was brilliant. I haven't heard applause like that in years. Man, not since I played with my backstabbing twin brother, Wolfgang. I'm sure you came here for a reason, and it would be an honor to show you around. Welcome to the Golden Arcade. A place of fame and fortune. Speaking of which, this is the arcade's legendary vault, where only the most priceless treasures and artifacts are locked away. Wait a minute. You're here to break into it, aren't you? Don't worry. No judgment here or anything. I'll even help. But to get anywhere near that vault, you're going to have to prove yourself as a player. Follow me! Heard on the street is that you're pretty good at creation, Clash. But we don't trust words, nor the street here, so you'll need to show us what you've got. More specifically, show him! Our resident champion and word street verification specialist. So you're the one who took down the Baron, huh? Well, I'm pretty good at Creation Clash, too. That's why they call me Creation Clasher! <laughs> okay, guess you're pretty good at Creation Clash as well. But you can't take my name. It's copyrighted! Say, not bad. Not bad at all. But do you have what it takes to prove yourself in our next challenge? Guess that will have to be a rhetorical question until I tell you what our next challenge actually is. Right this way. Score another point for time. This is where all the major players start. Shooting wooden ducks who wear sunglasses. Think you've got what it takes? This is not the first time you've shot targets to lower a platform, is it? Told you that you would win a prize and my infinitely more valuable heartfelt congratulations. Now, just take what I'm sure will be a wild, harrowing ride on this grind rail. Come to the plushy plaza. We used to call it a loser's pit, but you know, we gotta be politically correct nowadays. Anywho, we got gangs, plushies, and even more plushies. No one ever stays long, maybe on account of all the plushies. So let's find a way out, quick! Just cause I'm stuck in plushy plaza in this ridiculous suit doesn't mean I'm no good at creation clash. Wanna see? You might have won this round, Skylander, but I'll be back. Though, hopefully, in a different suit. Gotta figure out how to get this thing off. This is what you need to get out of here, by the way. 
Skylander, try using that exploding barrel on those delicate crystal barriers. Thus, we have reached the final test of this golden arcade. One so diabolically fiendish, it can only take the form of a video game. Candy Cake Gumdrop Land! Please feel free to give it a shot, if you dare. Of course, there are many... <laughs> that's right, losers! I can even see you inside this stupid thing. And that's not the only thing I can do. Watch this! For the first time ever, you must battle one of my Doomlanders inside a video game! <laughs> Doomlander, Smasher class. The password is Techno. What? No! Bravo, Skylander, bravo! Now just take the platform up to the vault. We're almost there. This is it, Skylander, the famous golden arcade vault. In here you'll find a great many treasure. But how to open it? Simply break the locks. All you have to do is grind along the rails. And of course, don't look down. I'm free? I can't believe it. I can't believe I am finally free. <laughs> Indeed. So why don't you come down here to thank the Skylander and myself for freeing you? Well, that would be the polite thing to do, wouldn't it? Hmm. Nah. Gotta find chaos instead. Bye bye Oh, I'm, I'm guessing that wasn't the result you were hoping for. But hey, you're still the best player we've ever had at this arcade. And I'm sure you'll catch up with that brain fellow later, right? Don't even try to wiggle out of this brain. You said if we put our heads together, we'd be unstoppable. Now let's get to it! Get me out of this jar, and I'll do anything you want. Well, within reason. All right, Lord Chaos. I don't see any sign of those Skylanders, so... What's the matter, Glumshanks? You look nervous. Anything wrong? What? Do I have something on my face? Is it food? Is it relish? It's not relish, is it? Oh. I don't understand it, Brain. He acts like he's never seen the smartest, most powerful being in the known universe. But you do understand it. We understand everything now. It's the whole point of being so smart. That, and taking over the minds of every living creature in Skylands. Which I say we do right now. Say it with me, Chaos. Presto Brino! What's that noise? Gil? Pop this! What's wrong? Rain. <laughs> I never get tired of hearing them say brain. Hope you don't mind. I am making your lair a lot more stupendous. Yes, yes! Then we can add super mega lasers! And a moat! Filled with hungry crocodiles! Ha! Moats are so overrated. Ugh. Let's just keep it simple. A super impenetrable force is. Now we can create anything we want, whatever. And of course, laugh maniacally while we do it. <laughs> Skylander, we got problems. Okay, it's really just that one problem, but it's a big one. Everyone in Skylands is brainwashed. Of course, I'm totally immune because I am A, a dragon, and B, awesome. Turns out it was dragon magic which originally stopped this ancient brain all those years ago. So I say we go to the source of dragon magic itself and see if we can do it again. Come on! <laughs> so, here it is. The home of all the dragons in Skylands. Seems oddly quiet, though. 
Where are all the sheep and dragons living together in dubious harmony? Go back! Go back! Go, Go back! back! Go, Go back! back! Okay, so the sheep have turned completely evil for some reason, but I'm still not seeing dragons. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna go see if I can figure out what happened and how to reverse this brainwashing spell. Later! All dragons must pick the path of fire or ice before they can move on to adulthood. I think it's like metaphorical or something. So anyway, feel free to choose whatever one you want. This leads to the fire path. Note the fire on the door. And surprise, surprise, this way to the path to ice. I probably should have told you that there were more of those metaphorical dragon choice thingies. This one we like to call brains or brawn. Are you the brainy type who likes to solve puzzles? Or the brawny type who smashes bad guys? I guess this one really isn't that metaphorical, huh? What are you even doing at this point? Don't you know that I've already won? Maybe I should just put you out of your misery, eh? This doom matter like sharp arrowheads, fancy bows, and long walks on the beach. Please welcome... Him! Doomlander. Bowslinger class. All hail my ultimate awesomeness! Meh, no big deal. Doesn't matter if you losers win or lose. No skin off my nose, because I've already brainwashed most of Skylands, and there is nothing you can do to stop me! Nothing! <laughs> nice job, buddy. Like what you did there. Real quality work. And hey, check this out. I found the dragons. Even better, they say they can fix all this brainwashing. According to the legends, our dragon magic is the only thing that can reverse the power of the ancient brain. But of course, no dragon has attempted this in thousands and thousands of years. Whoa, really? Oh, Okie dokie, I guess that is what we're doing. Um... Skylander, now that we've unbrainwashed everybody, it's time to finally go after Chaos and take down that little pipsqueak once and for all. But first, why not try out the new Dragon Wings? See what it's like to be one of the cool kids. Elf, JV, tell me you guys aren't brainwashed anymore. We are not brainwashed anymore. Then, do you still have to talk like that? No, everything's going back to normal. But Chaos still has the impenetrable force field around his lair. And as always, I have a cunning plan on how to deal with this problem. Go and see Pop Fizz outside the abandoned amusement park and he can explain more. Deal! We're gonna make a giant cake! Since Chaos's lair is encased inside that force field, we figured the only way we could convince him to let us in would be baking him a giant birthday cake. But it's a fake cake. Exactly. We all hide inside this fake cake, and when Chaos lets us in, blammo! Everyone jumps out and attacks! Start hunting for ingredients! Sal says they're offering cake ingredients to anyone who wins the big arena battle over here. Blobbers and Callie have found something in the dungeon over here. Could be an ingredient, could be a ghost, but you can't wait to find out. Yo, Mags! Hey, tell us you got this cake all baked and ready to serve up to Chaos. 
I would absolutely love to see that eruptor, but I just can't lie to you, old buddy. I got attacked by big evil rats who claim squatter rights. And I came back here, and then, and then, I don't know what happens. I'll tell you what happens. We're gonna finish that cake. But first, the Skylander here will get rid of the rats. I'm of the final stage of frosting chaos's cake. Did you know some people call frosting icing? <laughs> what a world! Now, we gotta get this bad boy over to chaos and pronto. All that's left is just to put some candles on top. Hey, where are the candles? I had them stashed right here. Oh, rats. Those creeps stole my candles and are now taunting me with their crime. Oh, I'm so mad I could erupt. So, uh, would you go get them, Skylander? The rats and the candles. I think I've got a little more rumble in my tum-tum. Okay, this is just sad, even for you sky losers. What are you even doing here? I mean, I can't be stopped. You know it, I know it, we all know it. Well, only one way to settle this. I shall summon my final Doomlander. One so awesomely powerful that he will surely seal your ultimate final doom. <laughs> and I mean it this time. Doomlander. Quick shot class. Never underestimate my power! To say, Skylander, it's been fun. Wait a minute, fun? That's not the right word either. It's been horrible! But here's a question for you, hotshot. How are you going to defeat me? Can't get into my fortress. It's protected by an impenetrable force field. Impenetrable! So good luck with that. Oh, howdy, that is one fun finger of a cake. It sure is. Let's eat it. Uh, Eruptor, you do remember that we're making this cake so all the good guys can hide inside while we sneak the thing into Chaos's impenetrable fortress? Right? Oh, yeah. But wait, how are we gonna get it over there? You put rockets underneath the cake? Is that safe? Of course it is. Still, though, not on across your fingers, Eruptor. Uh -oh. Whoa! I just saw a cake fly out of there, so I'm guessing you were successful in baking it. Or if things went horribly wrong. Either way, just use those cool new dragon wings to rendezvous with the rest of the team over here. Good luck, Skylander, and enjoy the final cake assault. The whole point of ruling over people is so they'll fear and obey you. Everyone now is just so, so brainless. <laughs> oh, come on, Chaos. It's all about mind control. The thinking brain's form of tyranny. And if you don't do it, well, someone else will. Like those so-called benevolent ancients did. I was the only one willing to stand up to those mysterious creeps. And what did I get for my anti-disestablishmentarianism? Locked in a jar. Hey, what was that? Uh, it's the Skylanders, sir. Skylanders? But I thought they were all under my total control. It looks like you've won, Chaos. We've come here to pay tribute to your glorious rule. Tribute? Ha! See, Brain? Now that's more like it! Wait a minute! Is that a... a birthday cake? Uh, yeah! An evil birthday cake? It sure is! Did you hear that, Glumshanks? An evil birthday cake? Even my own mother never... <laughs> Take it easy, big guy. Uh, seems a little suspicious, doesn't it? I mean, the Skylanders are your sworn enemies. And, oh yes, fun fact number two, it's not even close to your actual birthday. Your, uh, brain does have a point, sir. Silence! Both of you! It's my evil birthday cake, and no one is getting any but me. Ugh, stop bowing, mindless slaves, and let them in! 
All right, he's taking the cake. I hope this works. and watch you beat the Skylanders by yourself. Go ahead, give it a try. I like to think of myself as a tolerant guy, Chaos, but bringing up my lack of thumbs, well, that crosses a line for me. And you know what else? The Portal Master has a much better imagination than yours, especially now that I'm on their side. Presto Brano! All Imaginators are amazingly effective in this zone. Uh, uh, no matter then! Well, that's my cue. Time to skedaddle. Not so fast, Squishy. You were the one helping this creep. Oh, come on, Spyro. The guy released me from a jar I'd been in for literally thousands of years. What was I supposed to do? Not help him? Uh, yes. Okay, so maybe helping Chaos wasn't the best idea in retrospect. But let's talk about the here and now. There's still a ton of evildoers out there. <laughs> Am I right? I could help you with that. How do we know we can trust you? Because if he tries any funny stuff, it's back to the jar. Uh, what he said. Uh, um, aren't we forgetting something? What are we gonna do with chaos? Oh, don't worry about him. I have just the idea. Presto Braino! This isn't over, fools! Hear me? You just wait until I figure a way out of this stupid job! <laughs> Little chaos is so adorable. Tiny boo. Uh, <clears throat> Yes, fellow good guys, it does feel good to win, doesn't it? Now, 
has the smartest, most powerful brain in the known universe, and Skylander Academy's newest professor. It is time to deliver on my end of the bargain. Come closer, and let me tell you a tale. Hey, Crash Bandicoot, why are you still dancing? The great synchronization celebration is on the other side of the island. At last, 20 years of meticulous planning, preparations, and machinations have all built to this single moment. The fathomless rhythmic energies of Wumpa Island itself shall power my Cortex Matrix Chamber and create an unstoppable army of loyal minions. And this time, none of my stupid henchmen will be around to ruin it for me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like the looks of whatever that is. Huda bugger! These terrible bad vibes will shake the whole of the island apart if you don't set them right. Boy, howdy, I'll say. That was a heck of an explosion. Downright dissonant. I reckon that awful machine has gone and messed up the rhythmic vibe of parts of this here island. Crash, I'm sure that Neo Cortex is behind all of this. You must stop him from meddling with the synchronization celebration, or the world might not hear from us for another 20 years. You saw another bandicoot? Your shirt was a crash? I'm positive. I saw this guy way up the mountain, dancing around in some kind of giant, crazy robo-suit. Badly. He's so offbeat, it's creating all these bad vibes across the island. Well, that's shadier than a shaved schnitzel. But I guess that means it might not be all Cortex's fault. Don't suppose you know anything about this, do you, Cortex? Whoa, hey, hold up. Ah, those terrible sounds from the mountain messed up the Smashing Rocker's groove big time. You know they won't act right with this racket, Crash. You gotta find my Funky Wumpa mixtape. It's in one of the boxes below. My mixtape. Get ready to get your groove on, Smashing Rockers. It's time to dance. Feast your eyes on the future of rock-based security systems, Mr. Bandicoot. 10,000 pounds of unstoppable crushing power. They're great. It's just, uh... Welcome to the Chili Pepper Run. I'm so excited for you to finally try it. Now don't forget, the more crates you get, the more awesome prizes you can win. As long as you don't, you know, get crushed. I want to say that I've really, really thoroughly tested it for you, uh, but all of my test runners kind of got squished by the giant bowling ball, so... It's an experiment. It'll be great. You'll be great. You'll be the best crate uh, getter of all time. I'm so your biggest fan. Hey, Crash. You're getting pretty close to the last place I saw that other bandicoot, so be careful while you explore. Oh, and, uh, have you seen Cortex anywhere? Some of his minions are headed this way, and they seem pretty cranky. If they get here before we kick off the synchronization celebration, we're in big trouble. If you see him, send him over here, okay? He's caused enough trouble already, so this is his mess to clean up. Thumb grunts. Chili Pepper Run. Are you ready to heat things up? <laughs> ha! I'm so glad you came by. Hope you enjoy it. You need to try and chomp the chili peppers. I'm sure you can handle the burn. Just, um, watch your step out there. I'll be cheering for you. 
the dance hall for the great synchronization celebration ain't too far ahead, Cortex. But I expect you knew that on account of the fact that you've been trying to conquer these here islands for whatever reason floats your boat. Mind yourself on the bridges up there. I don't think the islanders give two hoots about health and safety regulations. Honestly, did you see that security system outside the village? Big old stones on bamboo scaffolding, like they never seen a blueprint. <laughs> Seriously though, watch your back. Nobody's been able to check the dance hall yet. The bad vibes around the area are just too awful to bear. You can hardly think. Sweet ever-loving Wumpa. It's like we need an evil genius to solve this. Who makes these puzzles anyway? Hey! Hey, you! You're an evil genius! My friend has been trying to bring the Wumpa Beats back. Too many bad beats and they fall asleep on us. Use your mighty powers to wake them up, or just jump on their tops. You dare challenge the power of our squadron? You risk the wrath of mighty Uka Uka! Done well, Skylander, but there will be another time. Count on it! Good gravy boats! Fake Crash has got himself a whole flash mob! You better watch out! You just get in there and do all the fight! Fake crash. To my beautiful machine. Oh. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I picked it all up for you. And check this out. Catch you later, purple later. <laughs> 